my channel here is part two of the mini series that I am creating as I redecorate and reorganize the studio if you haven't already I will link part one below or on one of the cards above for you today I'm going to be working on some of the new designs that I have created see how they work out today I'm mainly dedicating to creating some new work yesterday I was in but I was here just doing the orders on my own and they've all been posted but one has come in overnight so I'm gonna quickly do that now um, just before I start just so we can get in the post if there's any questions that you have during this video let me know in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as always thank you so much for watching if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it really does mean a lot and without further ado let's head into the video Here's the cake tub order that has just finished off the laser machine, which I will finish in a second. But for now, I'm going to pop the wood over on the laser machine. Here's the next design I've been working on, and it's just a star. That this bit's all going to be engraved, this bit's going to be cut, and then this bit's going to be acrylic. So if I, I just need to that and I need to take this one out because I'm going to put it here in the pink so delete that and then we want to go ahead and size it accordingly so if I do 2.5 see what that size looks like now pyjamas when I was ordering my Christmas stock they were in the clearance on the wholesale kids 
Blank's uh, website. So I do these for Adeline for Easter. So I'm just going to quickly use Silhouette. Let's open, open Silhouette. And not quite sure what to put on. Let's go and have a look for some vinyl. So here's where we keep the vinyl. I've got quite a lot of different scraps so we'll get the glitter out. Um, what else have we got? Green. Let's try that pink. Stick of vinyl. That's bigger sheets. Um, what else have we got? That'd be quite nice. Ooh, about this. It's with silver maybe I'll, I'll go and try some yellow actually let's go back to the cupboard let's try where did I spot yellow let's try some of that set to 17980 degrees or so and I will just press for around 10 seconds each time with a good firm pressure
these on for sale it's just something I thought I'd do but look how cute they've turned out I love the little pop of yellow with the bunnies This is what I've just cut over on the laser machine. So I've just got the white and the pink. I did intend for this to be a dark pink, but we haven't got any in just for this purpose. I thought we'll cut it out of white just so we can see what it looks like. And again, the size isn't right. I was planning on doing it a lot bigger, but instead of wasting materials, I thought I'd just do a small prototype. Wood is just engraving on the laser machine now. I don't know if you can see it from here. You can't really see, but that's engraving over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel the backings off the acrylic. None of it's stuck down yet, but I think I might overlap it just so it comes off the edge a little bit. That's roughly what it'll look like. And I'm just going to use the industrial grade super glue by Everbuild. Let's pop you down. Now I just need to find a home for it in my office. I might put it here to be fair, next to my frames. This is the cushion cover that I've got and I'm just going to size it up now using the Silhouette Matte. 
so I can see ideally I need it one two three four five six seven eight about eight grids deep for it to have any size impact so let's go over to the mat Have a look how many squares it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll be perfect. And just got to decide on colours. I think I might go with blue. I've got either these. Let's put them out of the drawer. So got two choices we've either got like a clay color and this like frappe color or the blue and I'm kind of leaning towards blue just because I really like this this color here been flipped I've just released compound and then we just want to go ahead and let me put you down Let's see if we can still see from here so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste that for a minute just gonna add a few more stars into our settings, take that up a notch and then hit send. I picked up these tubs for the trolley um, but I forgot to bring 
the stuff with me and I've just bought it from home. I'll show you what I've got. It's just a few things from Wilco. So it's some glue spreaders, paintbrushes, some chalks. Put these for her. They were only a couple of pounds. They're just some big chunky cards to play heads and tails. Let's find an example. But yeah, I thought they were quite nice because they're they're big pieces and they're big and chunky. And I thought of putting them in this crate. So there's the cards that she can help herself with. stuff that we can make. So we've got this fruit. Some plain chalk, so I might fill one of these tubs. And then I just need to remember to bring the crayons for in here and I have got some felt pens for her. Actually that might be better to remove those tubs. I've got my very old, from my childhood, like, paints. That's a wrap for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Join me in part three of the series where I'm going to be painting the area and see how it all finally turns out. So. Hope you join me that one in the next few weeks and until then, see you in the next video. Bye guys.